indeed. This is a very, very angry Tangana that we've got this morning, and I'm going to show you exactly why. Have a look at these tracks here. So he's definitely moving exceptionally quickly. If you look very carefully at these footprints, now they don't look particularly big, but they are. I think it's just slightly distorted. I'll show you some bigger ones as we go up ahead. Is that these? This is two tracks here. In this little circle that I'm going to draw with the grass are two footprints over the top of each other. You can see this is the fresher one over here. So this is the back foot that is stepped over and on top of and even further ahead of uh, the actual front foot. And if you carry on, if you follow us, you can see them. Again, look at this. This is two tracks. They've just registered over the top of one another. Now that doesn't happen unless a leopard is moving very quickly. He may have been running at some point, and I think here he's basically doing a brisk walk. He is hot on the heels of, I can only imagine, Hosanna. We haven't picked up his tracks again since here, so I wonder if he didn't stick and, and sort of ducked into the drainage line, trying to bob and weave, trying to put as much vegetation as possible between him. But like I said, Hosanna is young, he's quick, he's nimble, He's got a lot of energy. Tingana is much larger. He's a little bit bulkier. It doesn't mean that he's slow, though. But I think, if anything, Rosana would have that sort of being smaller, being more slight, being able to duck through some of this vegetation and perhaps give Tingana the slip. That's what I'm hoping for. But he is cross and I know it sounds silly that I'm saying that you can see his mood just from his tracks but when have you ever seen a leopard march normally when we see them oh yes I'm marking my territory oh yes this is a great shrub to spray up against having a lovely day you know they, they're never really on too much of a mission this is how Tingana is walking are you ready Senzo I'm so sick of these young leopards coming into my territory and causing nonsense. That's literally the attitude that Tangana will have right now. He is fuming. And I, like I said, I don't blame him. But I thought it was really nice to see tracks like that. I, you don't often get to see those tracks. And here they are again. They are so fresh. Have a look down here. They, I cannot tell you. We, we can't be too far behind. Very little disturbance in the sand. Again, over the top of the dew, so little, not quite, not crusty if that makes sense, but you can just see how there's quite a bit of definition here. So that's just breaking, the, so the dew would have of course fallen on the sand, on the grass, and that's him stepping in and just breaking that thin sort of wet layer. But let's go, at least we've got good tracks here. We, do, we lost them for a bit, but now that we've picked up on them again, that's good for us, because if we've got footprints to follow, that's just one step closer to finding the end animals at the end of these tracks. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit tricky, as if this soil gets quite hard at this junction up here, quite close to Chelek Pan. There's quite a bit of gravel on the road, which will make it almost impossible for us to follow. So we've got to be careful. We've got the sun coming through quite nicely, illuminating the tracks. No need for a torch this morning. And now I can't see them anymore. Let me just check on this side of the road. Yeah. This looks like a very faint one. Oh, now I've got to get behind the sun again. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a track. Might be quite difficult to see just over here, but I can see the toes. And again, the toes look like they've splayed out, so probably at a quicker place. You know what it's like when you run uh, on the soft sand. Everything sort of does that. And I think that's why the toes are so far apart over there. Here's another track. Hang on. I wonder if this is not Hosanna, because the distance between this footprint here and this footprint over here is not particularly large. <sighs> Let me get a piece of grass. Let me find a piece of grass that's long enough that we can do a bit of a measurement. Let's try this one. So I'm going to just put this at the tip of the toe there. And then this is maybe a centimeter too short, but that's pretty long. Let me put it up from the ground. That's the stride. That's not a big leopard. That's Hosanna. So these are Hosanna's tracks here. So he was here too. They don't look as fresh as uh, Tingana's tracks did. 
the Thor money Mikey said can't the can't the leopards just get along I wish it was that simple but unfortunately this is nature it is tough it is raw it is wild there is well nature and also it changes all the time so just when you think that you figured it out it completely changes yes here's hyena tracks now just going along here this is from last night though see now I can't see any leopard tracks at all Again, that substrate has got so hard, a leopard wouldn't necessarily run through the mud unless it absolutely had to. Let's just check. No, nothing here. Now this begs the next question, where did they go? Did they go down Pangolin Track? Did they go behind Chele Pan in the drainage? Or did they carry on going down Twin Dams? Now we need to obviously play, um, do a bit of an investigation around here. James is doing exactly the same thing. I don't know where he is at the moment, but I'm sure he'll tell you.